Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about my UI UX design process in order to bring an app from an idea to the final app store. And um, the process usually depends from client to client because obviously different clients have different needs. And, um, but in this video we're going to talk about the nine steps which I usually follow and uh, that uh, have been proven to get me great results over and over again. So the very first uh, part of the process uh, is to hop on a call with the client uh, and uh, do what I uh, consider the briefing call. And uh, what this is, uh, is basically I'm interviewing the client uh, and uh, I'm asking them uh, a whole bunch of questions in order to learn uh, and uh, do some uh, upfront research about uh, their company. So I want to understand what their main pain point is uh, or what their goals are. And uh, I want to learn about their company, their competitors the, and uh, essentially what they're looking to achieve with uh, this app. So once that uh, is established, um, I would usually uh, send them over a additional UX questionnaire in order to further elaborate on some of the points uh, and uh, in order to have uh, some more uh, research and uh, information which uh, I might not have uh, had the chance to ask uh, during the call or maybe things that just uh, came into my mind after the call. So I want to understand uh, uh, more of the uh, their business and I want to go deeper in uh, the research phase so that uh, is what the UX uh, questionnaire is all about now once that is done and uh, we establish the term of uh, working and uh, the main vision of the app I would then schedule one or multiple brainstorming live sessions and uh, I usually do these uh, all remotely and um, I use uh, a combination of uh, tools like uh, um, Skype and then Figma in order to do the brainstorming session together and during the brainstorming sessions we're going to go through a series of UX exercises in order to establish the, the vision even more and to really put some uh, um, ideas on the table and to start uh, really elaborating on it. So we might to do UX exercises in order to elaborate the strategy, the vision and then ultimately we're going to create uh, some uh, really rough uh, wireframe ideas or and this can be actually creating the wireframe during the sessions or we can just uh, briefly describe the, the goals, um, the, the main problems and uh, I can come up with a wireframe after this session. Now, after the wireframes uh, are done, uh, um, it's very easy because uh, we ha already have uh, the core structure of uh, the app, uh, of the screens, uh, of the flows, uh, and uh, at this point, uh, we are going to enter the UI design phase. And uh, if the vision uh, of uh, the visual language is not established already, um, I would present the client with uh, anywhere between two to four ideas of the visual, um, of visual explorations. And uh, once the client uh, picks a, a vision and uh, one of the concepts, uh, we might further elaborate on those. Uh, and uh, the key at this stage uh, is to establish uh, the visual design look and feel of the brand with uh, one specific screen. So I'm not going to go on and uh, create the visual design of multiple screens. I'm going to focus on one core screen. And once the visual design language is established for the brand, then we're going to use uh, that language throughout the uh, whole amount of screens. And uh, that is going to uh, enable us to move faster and uh, also very um, consistently. So once the UI design part is done, we usually move on to further revisions if they're needed or just uh, elaborating on uh, what we already have. And uh, one of the things which uh, I always recommend uh, is to do some user testing. And uh, this can be even at uh, a very small stage. So even uh, uh, having uh, three to five people testing the app uh, 
with, uh, uh, with, a, with a prototype. So I might create a prototype and then uh, send it over to the client and uh, he can have uh, uh, his users test it or we can uh, find the users uh, uh, to test the app together. And uh, basically the, this process is uh, actually very important because uh, it's, uh, it comes even before the actual development of the app. And uh, this enables us to pinpoint uh, um, any pain point in the app or any UX problems that the app is experiencing and uh, we can then go on and uh, elaborate and improve it and uh, eventually solve uh, any problems that uh, we find even before uh, the developer starts to write a single line of code and this is very efficient and uh, very cost uh, uh, effective for the company. So this is definitely something which uh, I recommend uh, all of you guys to do whenever possible. And uh, at this point, it then all comes down to user testing and just uh, coming up with uh, um, new ideas, new ways to expand the app uh, or just, you know, live it as it is. So this is it for this video. I hope uh, this uh, was helpful and uh, that you learned uh, a few golden nuggets here and there. And uh, I'm curious to hear about uh, your UI UX design process when it comes to building uh, iOS uh, or Android app. And um, again, guys, it really depends uh, on the client because different clients have uh, different needs. So you might end up with a client that just needs uh, uh, your UI design services, so you're going to not uh, um, take take part in the UX process, uh, or maybe you you just find a client which uh, uh, wants UX services. So it really depends uh, based uh, on the client, and uh, um, but just remember one thing that regardless of the type of project, uh, you always want to understand the context in which you're operating. You always want to understand the goals of the business and the, the uh, problems that they're facing because businesses are all about uh, um, finding, uh, are all about achieving a goal and uh, <clears throat> you want to understand those goals and uh, really think through um, in a way that uh, is all around uh, the business goals and the users because users are the only people who are actually going to use that app so it's all about them really you have to be user-centric and um, you have to think uh, about uh, uh, how can they create the best experience possible for the user so again guys hope this video was helpful and uh, if you're interested in uh, kickstarting a app project uh, in a very fast way i would recommend you to consider also using some frameworks or ui kits uh, and uh, i'm leaving uh, in the description below my suggested uh, um, premium ui kits resource uh, which uh, i use quite often when i'm working on client projects and uh, this can help you um, having some assets already which you can uh, drag and drop into the project uh, our, um, our baseline in order to uh, create screens faster uh, because at the end of the day it's all about efficiency and uh, creating a custom solution for your client i'm not saying to use a ui kit uh, and just copy and pasting design that's a horrible way to go after it and uh, it's definitely not something which i recommend however um, once you have uh, a base going fast, uh, then you can customize and create a, a tailored solution for the client, uh, but still being uh, mindful of uh, your time. And uh, this is uh, something which uh, definitely is going to be able to um, help you succeed further as a designer and uh, get better results faster, which uh, uh, that's, all, <laughs> that, that's all about the process. So this is it for this video. Again, hope it was helpful. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this uh, UI UX design process and uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on uh, your personal design process. So feel free to leave a comment below this video and uh, let's, start, uh, let, let's start the conversation about it. And uh, if you like the video, um, please uh, like uh, and uh, put a, th a thumbs up. That's, this really motivates me to create uh, more videos since I know that this uh, 
um, these videos are, are appreciated. And uh, also feel free to subscribe and to turn on the bell notification in order to receive a notification every time I post uh, a new video. This is it uh, for this one and I'll see you in the next one.